Hey folks, welcome to Economic Observations. My name is Chris. Today is the 6th of July and thank you so much for watching. This video is sponsored by the Tanzania School Foundation, a nonprofit organization in which I founded. If you would like to support this channel, please make a donation to the Tanzania School Foundation and there are links below in which you can help which are absolutely free. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's get started. Millions of jobs have been lost during the pandemic and many to AI and robots. We know that toll takers have been replaced, the spinning wheel has been replaced, receptionists, call centers, operators, and the list goes on and on. Now you walk into McDonald's and there are machines in which you place your order. There is no longer a person there to greet you and say, hi, how may I help you? Well, this is just going on and on and on, and there is no end in sight. Just to give you some perspective, and we'll talk about other jobs that are going out, and the pandemic has definitely fueled it. A surge of AI and robotics is taking over in so many sectors. To give you some perspective, in 1964, AT&T was the most profitable company in the United States. Back in 1964, AT&T employed 758,411 employees. Today, the most profitable firm in the country is Apple, and it employs only 137,000 people. And it is worth a lot more than AT&T was back in 1964. So that gives you some perspective. Call centers who were shut down during the pandemic got some artificial intelligence to answer phone calls and help people who were calling in. It sucks. It is not the same as a person. It's not like a receptionist or somebody would answer the phone and redirect your call. Hotels got butlers who would deliver new key cards and tooth toothbrushes to guests staying at their hotels. During the peak of the pandemic, over 40 million jobs were lost. Some economists think that 42% of those jobs are lost forever. Robots are cleaning floors at airports. They're taking t t people's temperatures. Even hospitals and universities deployed a AI robot called Sally, a salad making robot to replace dining hall employees. Malls and stadiums bought AI security guard robots to patrol empty space and empty real estate. Artificial intelligence should free humans from dangerous and boring tasks so they can take on more intellectually stimulating assignments, making companies more productive and raising workers' wages. But we know that not everyone is up to an exciting and intellectually stimulating career. There's a lot of people who just want a job. Not me. But a lot of people just want a job. They want to go in. They want to know what they're doing. They want to do it. They want to get paid and they want to go home. But those jobs, folks, are ending. Do you know there is a brick laying robot? This robot can lay 3,000 bricks in a day, 10 times as many as a human being can. Robots can plant seeds and harvest crops. They can also separate breast bones and carcasses in slaughterhouses pack pallets of food in processing facilities. Robots are replacing humans. A business that pays its worker $100 pays $30 in taxes. But a business that spends $100 on equipment pays about $3 in taxes. The 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act lowered taxes on purchases so that you can actually make more money buying equipment. J.P. Morgan says it has AI looking at commercial loan agreements. What once took lawyers 360,000 hours in a year? Robots are doing it in seconds. 360,000 hours. And some AI bots can do it in seconds. What's going to happen to all those lawyers out there? Like I said, there is no... Korea that is not vulnerable. Look at a teacher. Look at a college professor. They can record everything and use the same lesson over and over and over without the need of having someone in the classroom. Maybe there's a chat person or maybe you ask questions and a robot automatically 
answers them for you. This is where we're going, folks. But there is not one job out there that's not vulnerable. We're all vulnerable. One company says the one thing I like about the robots is as long as you maintain it, they're there every day to work. Look at this. Even governments are looking at AI. They all had budget cuts during COVID. So many organizations will use technology as they face these budget cuts and they need to reduce staff. And a lot of them don't see them going back to the old staffing levels prior to COVID. Oswego County in New York State, who had to cut 10% of their staff because of pandemic related budget issues, they needed to look at things like AI and streamline government services and make them more efficient. Anyway, we're going to have a real shortage here and it's only going to get worse. Anyway, an update on my EIDL grant. So the EIDL, we were rejected for not being in a low income community. I asked for a reevaluation because there is a mailing address and there is a physical address. And we were rejected again from a loan officer saying not in a low income community income community however our physical address is in a low income community i i don't know i don't know what to tell you i was really discouraged i tried to call this guy ryan who was the loan officer i emailed him i contacted him numerous times he refuses to get back to me so the sba is a joke it's just a joke anyway i have another application out there under another email address so let's hope that works all right folks Thanks for watching. As always, have a great day, and I will talk to you again real soon.